Software is one of the most important things that we need to learn about. Digitalization can change the way a shop is done, but how do we make it exciting on video? Simon and I are trying to work that out, but let's get started with talking crash guard. So important. Let's talk digitalization. I know the audience needs to know about it, so let's do the best we can on excitement levels, right? Tony, good morning. Nice to see you here yes, today sir. at Emo. Um, digitization is a very important part of the process these days. Um, and as you say, it's maybe not the most exciting subject, but uh, it plays a key role in making sure that we produce parts efficiently and effectively. So we start with uh, CrashGuard Studio and CrashGuard. Um, they're they're um, software packages that sit on the machine and on a PC in the office uh, that enable us to uh, program check and make sure that uh, we're not going to have any unnecessary collisions when we push the button for the first time. Kind of important already. Correct. <laughs> uh, and it, it shortcuts the process. Um, we then go on to uh, Milturn Pro, which is a conversational programming system. Again, this can be based on the machine tool or on a PC um, so that we can do offline programming or we can do it actually on the, on the machine itself. Uh, these two instantly important uh, in really to understand. I mean, having a machine down, possibly a big crash, not only expensive, but expensive in the downtime, replacement. So this type of software, important. Very, very important. Eye control. What is eye control, Simon? So eye control, uh, this lets us um, monitor certain tools uh, in, the, in the process that we're machining. So we have some uh, long boring bars, uh, whereby they're full of... Um, different switches and sensors so we can detect uh, vibrations. Uh, we can then um, change the feeds and speeds automatically depending on what those vibrations are telling us. So we can keep the cutting tool working in its optimum uh, format. Another brilliant piece of technology in my opinion because when we think WFL a lot of times we're thinking about really big machines and even a small vibration can destroy a tool quickly, destroy a finish quickly. And when you're grinding, when you're creating gears, all of the components that go into these do all in one setup before it comes off the machine. Software to back it up, what we're talking about with digitalization, so very important. Would you agree? Absolutely, because you know when when we're two meters down a bore in, in, in a component, you know, uh, we can't afford to scrap that part. You know, the, the material costs alone are, are very expensive, um, and if we're down to the finishing cuts, you know we're well on with the, with the process. It needs to be right first time, um, and therefore all of these um, sensors uh, and capabilities are there to ensure that we get a good component. All right, let's slide on over a little bit to my WFL. It's a cockpit, an umbrella. There's components underneath that where it, which are also extremely beneficial. What is my WFL? So my WFL cockpit is a series of uh, different software packages uh, that enable us to monitor the overall efficiency of the machine. Um, so it can measure spindle run times and what the machine's doing and how effectively it's being used. Um, and then we move from uh, that type of measurement, we move to uh, the environment. Um, so it's now looking at the power consumption, um, oil consumptions, uh, and making sure that we're not using um, power and oils and uh, other ancillary equipment that's not required. So then we move to the uh, health check, uh, and this is a process where we can um, monitor the actual machine tool accuracy uh, during the cycle. So maybe we've finished machining component A, and then we want to move on and make the second part. So we can then just go in and we can check the machine tool to make sure it's still in A1 condition and the accuracies are all perfect and therefore we can go forwards and make the next component with confidence. When we think about the health check and, and some of the other things that sit under the or in the cockpit let's say one thing that I'd love to highlight if you have a moment for me Simon is the green side of things because as we travel around the world with MTDC and C as you travel around the world as well green is important for different reasons in different places around the world right and in the US the US audience is loves to make a little extra money so if we can save that energy consumption if we can save that oil if we're paying attention to how the machine is running and if it turns itself off or whatever goes into the downtime of the machine to save all of those components and then in other parts we are actually doing our very best 
to save pieces of the earth and make sure that we're greener and cleaner. And I really like that about that software. So I just wanted to bring that up. Just say thank you. And if there's anything else you'd like to dive into for the audience watching right now when it comes over to the full digitalization of the WFL brand, I'd love to take this moment for you to highlight that. Tony, well thank you very much indeed. I mean, green is important to WFL um, and to our customers. And you know, if they can save power, save oils, make the environment cleaner, uh, they'll also produce components in a more cost-effective manner. Thank you. Way to bring them both together, way to end out the segment. Thank you all for watching. My buddy Simon, this is digitalization. And there might not have been sparks flying, but I hope you paid attention because it is so very important for your shop to take it to the next level. We'll see you all again soon.